Yeah. The world may never know. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, go see MGW. Go see Amp. <laughs> go see Amp. All right, so we're good. <laughs> so we're getting into Winners Finals is happening. <laughs> Utopian Ray cannot handle the delicious iced tea bro, that has been provided bro, for him. My controllers are in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going. We're going into game one of Venny and Jen. And you know, this is a, this is probably something that everybody expected. Jen and Venya, you know, always going back and forth. Venya's <laughs> 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 deceased. Yeah. Um, this is like the, the the typical Zeno finisher. Oh yeah, definitely. T tell me a tell me a story, Bars. What we got ahead of us? Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like whoever wins this set is gonna talk so much. <laughs> I mean, may maybe maybe not, but um. Like that, like this is definitely like an ongoing rivalry between these two, when it comes to like the Xeno weeklies and them going back and forth. It's such a good rivalry too, because like they're both prideful players, but like Jen, Jen's a bit more on the quiet side with it. He lets his actions speak for him. Venia, he'll let you know that he won. He'll let you know that he got first place. Yeah, yeah. Venia, Venia's a character. Uh, wow, well, that was a great. You know, we're treating up air coming out from uh, Jen. I don't think uh, Venia expected that, bro. Like, the way that these two have managed to, like, change up how they play over time, I feel like it, it far transcends, like, a traditional Greninja versus Palu matchup. It's very much more just Gen versus Venia. Yeah, and it's, it's, like, it's like a really great, set, th great thing to watch because you see them trying to pick each other's brains for the options going to come out next. And with that being said, Venia takes the first circle for Gen in this set. Like, right off the bat, you can take note how Venia tries to stick more to the ground than he does against most other opponents. Yeah, because the rule of thumb is jumping in against Paolo is going to get you blown up. Especially with the aerials, you know, Paolo has like Nair and back air, which kind of just beats everything. And Venia also spends a good amount of time either just standing or ducking, so that he doesn't have to worry about short hop back air. Because he's too small. Oh, you know, the, the, the low profile is like... Okay, going for the up smash. Vile for that one. I mean, he didn't get punished for it, so, you know, I respect it. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, <laughs> sniffing out that Benny was going to go for the forward air read instead for the up air, instead of the up air, you know, mash that, that Nair. Like, rising Nair running all the way up. Oh, yeah. What? It didn't really tie up the match, though. We got tied stocks, but Jen is bleeding pretty heavily on his second stock. Yeah, this Benny, Benny doing really well on the ground, um, and that's what, you know, that's what you expect. When it comes to fighting against Palu, you kind of have to beat her on the ground. Because beating her in the air is not really going to happen. Uh, because of her buttons. But, like, you know, have to take the ground game. Like how Venia positioned himself accordingly for whether or not he needed to keep maintaining the ledge or account for the uh, warp cancel. Wow. And, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. 180. 20%. Okay. Killing with up throw. Definitely makes sense. That high a percentage? I would hope so. Ooh, and catching that roll with the, <laughs> with the grab. Yo, he didn't even get anything off it, but it still <laughs> looks so clean. I feel like Benny halfway didn't really expect to get that punish. <laughs> That's definitely a Benny thing to do. Yeah. Oh, that down air off the platform is vicious. Oh, pa pa parry down air? I'm surprised he did not get that. If he got that, I would. That would have been wild. Yeah, I would have walked off. <laughs> Would have gone home. Jab, jab. Oh, just go right for yeah. forward smash. All yeah, right. Of course, yeah. I feel like you should have gone for like another rep, like go for like down tilt, up in, try and figure something out. Yeah. I mean, nonetheless, he's gonna call out a button with forward smash, and it's gonna work perfectly. Yeah, call, yeah, call out the forward air coming down from uh, Jen, and I thought that would have forward smash, but good stuff by uh, Jen. Wow. Pretty, you know, pretty convincing game one. What does Eddie's hair look like that? Something happened? Is, is, is that? Did he get a shape up today? Oh, it looks like I think he got it yesterday. He looks like he got a shape up, yeah. Either yesterday or the day before, because I know he was at Aeon with that. Just holds Barber to hit the, hit, the, hit the sides a little bit more, but you know. Uh, it looked like Johnny Bravo. We out here. <laughs> <laughs> looking like Johnny Bravo. Uh, Johnny Bravo going against uh, Jen in game two. Stadium pick once again. You're taking story off the board? I like that. I, I don't expect either of these guys to go to Lilat, so I don't know why that would be an active ban. Um, 
If you're playing, if you're playing against uh, Greninja, Lilat always it's always on the table. Because I think it's just like Smash 4 PS PTSD, where Greninja used to be able to bonk her, bonk his head against the Lilat under underside, which doesn't really happen in this game. But you know, it's still like one of those things where you don't want to risk it, even if it's not really a thing. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm just getting hit with up smash one. Yeah. Always the big sad when that happens. He deserves it. <laughs> but um, yeah, getting that nair to forward air. Novenia taking taking this lead. You know, pretty 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 decent size lead. Yeah, Jen hasn't really done enough to like threaten the lead. He's only been keeping the game like either at an even pace or Venia's been able to just stay a couple of steps ahead. Yeah, it's weird because, you know, uh, Jen is one of those players where, like, when he's playing in a set, he kind of imposes his will on the other player. And I'll, I feel like he hasn't imposed his will at all against Venia yet. So, um... It's almost signature of Venia, though. He always refuses to let the other person oh, yeah. play their game. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Venia, Venia is one of the uh, players who says, like, you have to play my game to beat me. And with this set, it looks like, you know, he wants, he wants Jen to play his game. That was a nice option. I mean, he could really do anything else, considering the explosive flame. Yeah, you know, still got the punish. You know, that's one of the things sometimes is like, players will go for the home run when they can just take the damage. And Jen in that situation was like, you know, I mean, Venio in that situation was like, I'm just gonna take the take the damage, even if I don't get the kill. Red the air dodged. Real good. All right, Venio really taking the lead now. Yeah, man, three, three to one stock advantage. You see Jen switching off of Polo at all in this set? Not, not a little bit. Not even a little bit. Because, like, I think Jen has realized, like, Palu is his best character by far. And there's nothing really right now that his Palu can't figure out. So, with that being said, you know, taking the stop, taking his first stop. You know, let's see if, you know, Jen can like, pull us back a little bit. I feel like Jen just hasn't had an opportunity to really play the ground game with Jen yet. Yeah. Because, like, what tools does Palutena really have for contesting the ground? Down tilt and forward tilt are only really good for, like, securing the ledge or kills. Um, up tilt is a move you almost never see, and even at that, it's only good for catching, a like, a wayward landing. So you got jab, jab and, and dash, dash attack. attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be dash attack, which is a really good option, right? Like, dash attack will beat anything you throw out, but it's about catching that option with the dash attack. That's, you know, that's what you have to do. Because, like, oh, was he blown back into place by the residual wind box? But there was no hitbox to actually punish him, so I was like... Ooh. And I like that option coming out from Jen, because even if uh, Benny ended up going low, it still could have had a chance to two-frame him. So that was pretty much covering all the options coming out from him. That was a really cute sequence. You know, and you know, you, you know, even Sox right now, you know, Jen could easily bring this back. Yeah, but at 142, like one good call out, and Venia brings us right into game three. And one good down tilt, you're like, you're, you're kind of like. <laughs> oh no! Ooh, okay. Yep. Yeah, reading that with the forward air. Um, and Venia taking uh, game two with the Johnny Rubber Hand. What's we got? What's on the docket for game three? And he changed, no, right back to stadium. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I respect it. Because he, he probably feels like, you know, he's just been losing. But just, you know, regular neutral interaction is probably not a stage pick type of thing, so. Problem is, though, that, like, all, like, Jen's getting these little hits in, but he's not getting a lot of stage control off of it. Yeah. Then he's getting big hits. He's either getting combos or, like, forward air is, like, heavily offsetting. And then he's getting lots of stage control from it. Like, Jen needs to be able to smother Venia, keep him from getting so much off of the things that he's doing. Yeah, and I just feel like he's been just controlling the pace of the match. I feel like this has definitely been like a Venia match, and less so of like a, you know, a, a Jen match. But uh, right now, you know, Jen taking control. I haven't seen this down air work once for Jen. I kind of want to see it once, just for the culture. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really good tech chase option. Um, because when you read it, you know, Palo can get some stuff off of it. But it seems like Jen, I mean, excuse me, it just seems like Venia hasn't gotten hit by it once. But, you know, he actually does get it a lot in a lot of sense. Caught with the up tilt right into up air, and that'll do it? All right. Yeah, I mean, taking the stock at 100%. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's kind of early for these two. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, just the way the neutral interactions have been going. And the thing about Venia is, like, he has such great mix-ups on the ground, when, like, when it comes to, especially with Tomahawks. Because I think one thing that he's caught on to is that, you know, especially Jen, he's caught on to the fact that Venia loves to come down with aerials. And now Venia is kind of, it's like, doing a lot of Tomahawks and, like, catching Jen off guard, grabbing him, do, hitting him with tilts. So that's probably not used to. Like, Venia's just playing at, like, such a high speed. Mm -hmm. And... It feels like Paolo Tena's kit is just not matching up to that. Even if Chen as a player knows what to expect, like there's only so many things he could do to call it out. Yeah. Like back air has had almost no influence into this match, yet if you ask someone on paper like what one of the best moves that in her kit is, back air usually comes up in the conversation. Yeah. Um. Because one of those things where Paolo would have to call it out, just because, like you said, Grinnin is so fast. Um. And you know, it, it, you know, it, it seems like kind of mitigated because usually Jen does pretty well in this matchup, but he knows the matchup, knows the matchup pretty well. But right now, you know, Ben's kind of running this, but Jen is about to. Uh... Ooh, the up air caught! All right, then he yeah. pressed the button. He's gonna die for and it. Just like that, Jen like turned this around. You know, as we're talking about that. All right, I want to be a believer. I want to see us go into maybe the game five. Okay. But, like, it's still such a daunting task. Because that was just, like a, like we've seen from Venia throughout the set, where Jen took his lead, it was just a series of good reads and making yeah. and getting the follow-up from them. But Venia yeah. is able to do that so more, much more frequently. Yeah, and, and, and it just seems like, you know, the pace where this match is going is that usually, usually Jen kind of plays at his own pace. And um, it just seems like that... Benny's speeding him up a little bit, which is a little uncharacteristic coming out from Jen. Go for that Force Smash read. Finally seeing Jen snap to the ledge completely broke Benny's ankles. Yeah, and, and these parries coming out from Jen, like... Did he? Okay. He... So he used Substitute, and I thought he was going to be too low, but he managed to just barely Hydro Pump his way back in. Yeah, and... You know, maybe it was just, you know, a timing mix-up, because he Vanny definitely didn't seem, like, bothered by it at all. Yeah, no, he's big chilling. I mean, he's on the verge of winning the set. I'd be chilling, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and knowing the side hitbox would still kill him. Um, got that push with the Hydro Pump, and you know, took that stock. And you know what? I, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've seen their sets pretty frequently. I'm not sure that there's been a time where either of them has took and, took and set that dominantly. I think there's one time where Jen kind of messed him up. But that was pretty dominant coming out from, you know, Jen. That was, like, 